Okay, let's move on to step two, the basic lean-to. If you're going to make this sort of a shelter, the basic lean-to is your starting point. If you don't have the time, then you can move on to steps three and four, which are more involved. You're going to have a ridge pole supported between two trees. There's our two trees capable of supporting a ridge pole in a Y branch on branches and so forth. Ideally, around eight feet apart. You're going to have a six foot long body laying there. Your ridge pole needs to be a bit longer, of course, to get the overhang. And the ridge pole height, you know, four feet's always a good starting point. You're going to have between four and six or more vertical roof support poles. Four at the bare minimum. You should start with six is better or more, six or more, because to build the roof, we'll get to that in a second, but it's easier to build a roof if you have six or more, there's one, two, three, four, five, six vertical roof support poles. Lashed to the ridge pole, ideally to make it nice and strong, you can sharpen an end, stick it into the ground, or dig a shallow hole, bang it into the ground to make it nice and strong. At a 45 degree angle, just like that, the best overall angle, if it's too steep, you don't get much coverage. If it's too shallow, you get too much rain and water, it's hard to waterproof. And then you're going to interweave thinner, longer, more pliable sticks in between those vertical roof support poles. And that's why you want six or more of those because it's going to make it easier and stronger to weave those sticks through. If, you know, four, you may need longer sticks. It's much easier with six or more. The more the better actually, but a six is a good starting point. There's thinner sticks interweave through to make a nice bed for your roof material your leaves grass whatever's on hand piles handfuls of ferns um, pine boughs and so forth the more the better on top thicker the more the better to make it more waterproof and so forth then you need a floor a floor either a raised timber platform which i talk about in previous videos or at the very least a layer of gfc material the greenest freshest cleanest material you can to get up off the dirt jammed it right in there you just want to get in there and lay down to have plenty of coverage in case it rains and then you can build a low wall around there just like for the tripod shelter you can drag in logs piles of wood rocks and so forth a low wall for protection it can be used to weigh down your roof supports to give make a stronger roof and so forth you're going to get protection and make a backstop for your leaves and so forth to be supported on there. You can have two and then three, like a pyramid shape of logs, to make it as high as you want to make more protection. Resources, you, you've got fuel for a fire as well, and you can support your roof material in there. You can have a pile of leaves coming out, but if it's supported up behind a wall, that's even better. And site selection here is the last factor. I'm going to talk about site selection for your shelter in more detail in a future video in this series of videos. But very briefly, you want a protected site, for example, amongst vegetation to protect against um, wind and rain and storms and so forth down into a valley. But you may well want an exposed open space nearby to get signals out, to get the attention of passing rescuers and so forth. Water, you want water as a resource, but you don't want to be on top of water in case water levels rise, flash floods, it rains and so forth. And even if it rains, you get water seeping in to form a puddle. That's also why you want your raised timber platform to get away from puddles if water comes in. So you want a nice well-drained site. Trees, you want trees as a resource for fuel, also protection, vegetation against wind and rain and so forth. But um, dead trees and branches falling down is dangerous, so you want to avoid that. And sun, you may well want the warmth from the sun in cold weather conditions, but in hot weather you want shade, so you may need to orientate your shelter, the opening towards the sun or away from the sun, depends if it's hot or cold weather. So they're the main factors for a basically into shelter.